If you are a passionate wildlife photographer, investing in a good bridge camera is worth it. These cameras are perfect for taking photos of anything from birds to wildlife. However, with many bridge cameras available in the market today, you should research before purchasing. In this video, we will explore some of the best bridge cameras for wildlife photography. To find out more information and updated price on the product we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like this video, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. At number 5 on our list is the Panasonic Lumix FC-1002. Panasonic's Lumix FC-1002 is a premium, point-and-shoot camera with a lens that's very, very good. The Lumix FC-1002's great power and portability make it a great performer for video, but it's hard to deny that the Lumix FC-1002's ideal focus pictures. Its 20.1 megapixel sensor provides excellent low-light performance, and its 16x optical zoom lens is long enough to get you just about anything you see fit. Plus, a long 2x Leica Tilly Onret teleconverter gets you longer reach too. The Lumix FC 1002 zoom range is comparable to that of a mid range DSLR camera, and it's sharp while zoomed to 400mm. Our only real complaint is that the FC 1002's display is relatively small, so using it outdoors to view movies was brutal and the camera lacks electronic image stabilization. There's an impressive 5-axis hybrid OIS system optical image stabilizer plus active mode, and it works as advertised, delivering sharper photos and videos even indoors when you're shooting without a tripod. That said, the FC-1002 isn't perfect. The touch display is laggy and ugly, and the EVF lags behind the LCD by a second or two, which becomes noticeable when shooting action or sports. Up next in fourth place is the Canon PowerShot SX70. The Canon PowerShot SX70 is the smallest and lightest camera we've ever tested with a 65x optical zoom lens. It doesn't feel incredibly bulky or heavy, but it uses a lot of battery power, and we don't like how the shutter sounds when you take a photo. The camera's biggest strength is its high-resolution image quality. Canon's Digic 8 image processor delivers surprisingly vibrant colors, and the sensor captures detailed, bright images. The 20.3 megapixel resolution is a bit low for high-end foam cameras, but it's high enough to produce high-quality images for sharing online and printing. The camera's bright 2-inch, 230K dot LCD, which swivels 180 degrees, also delivers detailed images, though you can opt for a small 1.4-inch, 230K dot LCD instead if you hate swivel screens. The stx 70s built-in Wi-Fi makes it easy to set up the camera on home network, and the EOS utility webcam software lets you turn the SX70 into a high-quality webcam for your computer. The downsides are that the camera's 4K video is not compatible with most phones, and there's no manual focus or aperture control. But if you're looking to take photos and movies without using an external microphone, the PowerShot SX70 is a great camera. At number 3 we have Leica V-Lux 5. The Leica V-Lux 5 has one of the most impressive zoom ranges we've ever seen on a consumer level digital camera, and it performs admirably in low light conditions. Its 25 to 400 mm equivalent focal lengths cover the wide angle to telephoto range, perfect for photographers looking to capture everything from expansive landscapes to portraits. The 20 megapixel sensor is paired with a decent sized 1 inch sensor, so the resulting images have excellent detail and dynamic range. Leica's standard V-Lux 5 doesn't quite have the high resolution sensor of our top pick. Still, at 20 megapixels, the V-Lux 5's pictures have greater clarity and minor noise than their lower resolution competitors. The V-Lux 5 also offers impressive low light performance because of its 4K video recording and 4K photo modes. We got sharp, detailed pictures at ISO 1600 without noise and shot at ISO 3200 without solid grain. With the zoom set to 200mm in 4K mode, we recorded video at 81 maps. The V-Lux 5 also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity with Leica Photos, so you can wirelessly transfer your images to your smartphone or printer. The V-Lux 5 comes ready to connect with Leica Photos, a free app and cloud service accessible from within the camera's menu. It takes good photos and offers good videos for the price.
The Nikon Coolpix P1000 takes stunning stills and video, but it's inferior to the Sony DSC RX104 for outdoor night photography. The P1000 has a better zoom range and slightly better image quality, but you'll notice a visible improvement in sharpness and image quality when you compare the RX104 sensor to the P1000s. The Sony also has better autofocus and low light performance, and the lenses are more optically. And as pointed out in the full review, the Nikon's viewfinder feels cheap and isn't as bright or clear. Also, the P1000 isn't weatherproof like the RX104. However, the Nikon's 4K videos looked excellent, and the P1000's burst shooting is fast, with 7 FPS at full resolution. The Nikon Coolpix P1000 is a solid camera, but it's better suited to outdoor photography and videography than indoors. Also, if you want an external microphone or flash, the P1000's built-in flash is only one of 2.5 inches. It's also easy to use, offers a variety of manual controls and modes, and has an easy-to-use interface. The one area where the P1000 didn't quite measure up was its battery life. In our tests, it managed just over 2 hours and 45 minutes. The Nikon Coolpix P1000 takes stunning stills and videos. And finally, the number one on our list is the Sony CyberShot RX10 IV. The Sony CyberShot RX10 IV is one of the fastest, most versatile cameras we've ever tested. Its large sensor captures high quality images in nearly every situation, even in low light. Its three inch flip up LCD is great for quickly checking focus or framing your pictures and its 25x optical zoom lens covers a vast range, making it ideal for portraits and landscapes alike. The camera's electronic steady shot image stabilization, which uses Sony's latest sensor shift technology, works well for handheld shooting. The RX10 IV also shoots 4K video, but the compression is so aggressive that the footage looks choppy when viewed at average speeds. Sony has updated the RX10 IV's firmware to address this shortcoming. The 0.03 second autofocus is so fast that you'll rarely be distracted by the camera's mechanical shutter, and even when shooting fast motion, the camera's rolling shutter effectively limits blur. The built-in Wi-Fi makes it easy to transfer images and movies to a computer or the cloud, and the camera's IAF feature can lock onto the eyes in your videos, letting you focus on them even when shooting handheld. Overall, this is an excellent camera and we suggest it to anyone serious about using their camera for shooting wildlife photos and videos. You will find all the links of these products in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.